Okay, hi everybody. We're starting the stream for the first time tonight. We're starting it out together for the first time. This is the first time we're seeing each other. Hey everybody. I hope you guys are having a great night. Dude, I was kidding. Because I thought the stuff on the site... Dude, I literally thought the stuff on the site... Don't make clips. Don't you fucking make clips. Hold on. No, 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 Dude, I, th I actually didn't think it showed that. I thought the site showed, like, you know, bras and stuff. Oh, my God. I'm so embarrassed. I never have looked at the site for longer than a minute. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm blushing. Me to woman. So, what's your favorite depiction of a panic okay. attack in animation? <laughs> Cody, you're 30 minutes late. Oh, my bad, everybody. My tire popped on the road. Yeah. My tire blew up on the road. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just got here onto my stream. I can't believe that. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually aghast that that happened to me. That has never happened to me in all these years. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm begging you to check that video link. I'm scared to click on anything anymore. Oh, wait a minute. I heard about this. Wait, no, 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 no. I did hear about this. I did hear about this. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. If you think about it, it's Alpharad's fault. I Well, you know, I might bring this up to him. I wouldn't say he's totally blameless. You know what I mean? Oh, my. I can't believe this stupid site. This is so bad. Okay. Hey, did you guys see the news? <laughs> Nicholas Cage is in Dead by Daylight. Don't know why he did that. Don't know why he's he's up for this. It's not even powerful. I'm There's the nothing more. Yeah. As a pop, I can't see anything else. Someone more powerful. Imagination. Oh good. I how do I pretend like this never happened? I'm so how do I even go on with the rest of the night? We can shape the fabric of reality, <laughs> transforming everything you may think you know. Uh oh my god, it's him! Check it out! Yeah, I don't know why they did this. Like, wouldn't they just do... Wouldn't, couldn't they just do a character? He was Night Ghost Rider and Renfield. He was a vampire. In the latest sh movie. And this is just going to make him look like a pussy. You can't fight them in this game, right? I don't think you can fight the killers. So he's just going to be running away and scared to death. He was literally Dracula, yeah. He's not going to be a killer. I feel like that would be kind of negligent to your image in Hollywood, right? Yahoo! Like, how, do you think he's... I think it would be... You are destroying the channel. I think it would be really weird if they put Nicolas Cage in and he was a killer, but not even like a mystical killer or like magical. He was just a straight-up serial killer, like a murderer. 
Like with a knife? It was like, oh, that's so funny. And it's like, ooh. Is there, why, could you have given him some magic power so I don't feel like I'm actually being killed by a human being? That would feel a little weird. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf should be a killer. I actually like that. You should be able to eat your corpse when you die for health. That's a good idea. There are humans on Dead by Daylight. Yeah, but none of them are a celebrity. None of them are real people. That's the difference. They should have a Michael Myers skin where it's the other Michael Myers. <laughs> like Shrek Michael Myers. That would be fun. Hey, uh, speaking of murder... Guess who's back? <laughs> it's our boy, Big Johnny A. John Elite, Elite, Elite A. Back here to review ways of killing people in a Hitman game. Last time we saw him in Hitman, now it's Mafia 2. Ex-Hitman reacts to Mafia 2. <laughs> what will he say? Elite, ex-Hitman in a Gambino family. I can't believe that this guy is, he pivoted out of it, right? Does he still sell baseball bats? <laughs> he killed people with these, right? Coney, would you hire him if you needed a hitman or someone else? I would not hire this guy, no, because clearly he's going to blab about it. He's going to talk about it at some point. I would rather pick somebody with a little bit more discretion. How is he still alive? Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I get... He probably worked... Did he work for the government? Did he go to jail? I would have picked somebody with a little bit tighter lips. Let's get into this game. Not he was an informant? I can't believe he's not dead then. You have certain guys that are, are doing hits. And let's get into this game. Not <laughs> you have Why is he wearing these glasses? Oh, my God. He looks like a cool secretary. I don't like those. Certain guys that are, <laughs> are doing not it. tough guy glasses. Hits. And after they're finished with the hit, we kill them because we know they're worthless. They betray their friend. We know they'll betray you also. <laughs> don't kill me. This when you have somebody like this and they're begging. This is all true stuff. You should have thought. That's true. People do beg for their life when you put a gun in their mouth. That's so true. Thanks, John. It's very helpful. So true. That really would have. His answer to him is, you should have thought about that before. Is it's typical. It's good. And these guys, the way they're shooting them up here is typical also. They won't shoot them once or twice. Isn't it crazy that I could show wanton violence on my stream, but if I happen, like this this would never happen, but if I happen to show any amount of nudity, I would lose my, my channel. Isn't that kind of weird? You ever think about that? Make an example. That's kind of strange, right? When you really think about it. Not that I would ever do that, but like... Example, they're going to shoot him 10 times. This is supposed that to be is kind 50s, of interesting. 40s, 50, so the, uh, the clothing, the voices, the attitude, it's on par. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Carmine Galante was one of the bosses years ago. So I guess some of the names they use in the vetoes, it's supposed to be Vito Genovese, I believe. But only oh, damn, this guy knows the people in the game? What the fuck? He's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. He's intently watching the game. You're just going to give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. A lot of this is realistic. Cause what if he's making all this up? Well, he hasn't said anything crazy yet. He was just like, yeah, if somebody is about to be killed, they will ask you not to kill them. And uh, then he LARPed. <laughs> he said what he would have said if the guy said a word to him. Like, he ad-libbed a new line. In the jails before, well, even some of the jails now, you got control with straight guards, line. Especially in those days. Your mob had a lot of control inside with guards and stuff. I mean, he's in a weight room, supposedly, where there's nobody around, which is not realistic. You'd have guards and inmates around. But the situation is realistic. It would have been somewhere else, in a shower, in a mop closet, in a... One of the libraries, church, somewhere, you can get to somebody like this by themselves. Is Not this all in like jail? This, with nobody around at all. Not in a big workout yard. I thought he'd be talking about killing people. Oh. 
Oh my god. Why can't I show this? Why can't the I murder just now of that itself and the knife shank in jail they would call it is uh realistic. Yeah, okay, yeah, thanks. <laughs> I didn't know this video would be this violent. I didn't know they would zoom in that quickly. I thought they would like zoom away or something. What is this channel? Gameology. Gameology is just showing straight up murder on their channel. In jail, they call that a shank. Well, they do, I hear. I love these old cars. That's why you get the I experts. was in Cuba, you still see them around when I was there. This is our turf, and it's going to cost you to operate. He said, those cars are in Cuba. Right here. Now pay up. You're the one who doesn't care. True, yeah. Do you have any idea okay. who you're talking to? Sure. Well, I think the relationship here and the, and the way they're talking to each other is pretty realistic, actually. Whoever consulted on this, I think, did a good job because this is exactly how you'll talk back and forth. He <laughs> downgraded him. He's abusing him. Basically call him a punk. And, and this is exactly how you'll talk to each other. He and just agrees with everything. Like that is also realistic. Tony, this is too gory. Can we take some quizzes instead? Where from? Depends on the site. Come here, you he had nothing to say about this scene? Son of a... You know, the depiction of loyalty in, in the mob is just that. Movies and, and games, <laughs> but in real life, there is no loyalty. The betrayal is, is uh, a regular occurrence. You have all the mafia bosses that are all cooperating and testifying against their guys. And By the way, he was an FBI informant, so big words from him. <laughs> Even wearing wires now, the bosses, <laughs> against the rest of their guys. This guy sold out all of his guys. Oh, yeah, betrayal is everywhere. Okay, so it's buddy, very yeah. hard to get guys to totally. do work for them anymore. I shouldn't say this too much. You have the bosses cooperate. The clothing and the look, the language might get a is visit very from good. Old Johnny like, a. You've got a lot of power struggles going on the mafia even till today. I swear he's just saying random shit. Yeah, he might just be an actor that watched The Sopranos. He's like, oh, yeah, I remember Tony said that once. That was just like, yeah, Tony did that too. Maybe not as much violence, but anytime there's money involved, there's going to be struggles even within the family because greed is the, the cause of the betrayal. And you're never going to stop the betrayal within each other and their family. He has been explaining for like four minutes. He's missing the whole scene. He is stun locked on betrayal. Families to other families because of the money. And the money factor changes. And this is why you have guys that are betrayed. Their it's the greed and it all comes down to the money. And the greed changes because of the money. And then you get betrayed because of the money. Because people are greedy and they want to betray you. And they'll wear wires because they want the money. Guys for other families and will betray him for the law. And they'll betray you, yeah. No, no, fuck, they shot him. He's dead, Vito. Chuck, come on, we gotta get out of here. You can't help him now. You also have here, which the pickets, and it shows the intelligence level, and a lot of these guys are not too bright. And what people think when you talk about organized crime, there's only a handful of organized uh, guys with some intelligence, the rest follow. Most of them are disorganized, not educated, and you got a handful of tough guys, and the rest are sheep. So he just called him stupid. Okay. Yeah. But by the way, he said, yeah, he said the way this game depicts stupid people, which is just fantastic. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. This is for Marty. Jesus Christ. And it kind of shows it here. Where you have a couple of the bosses, and then you have the dummies that carry out the work alone without any thought process. Yeah, it happened back then, but and even when you you have certain guys that are, are doing hits, and after they're finished with the hit, we kill them because we know they're worthless. They're not intelligent enough. To Jesus keep them around. Christ. You don't trust them. They betray their friend. We know they'll oh betray my God. you. Also. And this is what goes on the double dealing in, in the mouth. The loyalty will be to the next boss that makes some money or the next guy that brings in money. With the violence back, especially back in those days, is real. Up to about 2000, there was a lot of violence. Prior to after that, not really. The Mafia's hierarchy is no different now guy. than a, a typical large company. With CEOs and board members, what they have is a structure now, a panel of bosses. It's not one boss anymore like it used to oh, be. Oh, damn. So they structure it different to, to actually try to strengthen if somebody... Goes so now they have like a corporate... Li oh my god, wait. Live, laugh, love. Oh my god. No way. Oh 
hold on. There's no way the former mafia hitman has a live, laugh, love wooden board. I gotta find this. Uh, laugh every day. How do I search for this? Live something with abandon. Something fearless, challenge. Like, I'm looking for the words. Laugh, abandon, fearless, challenge yourself. Laugh every day. Big, <laughs> love, passionate, crave. I'm scared to show images on screen anymore. <laughs> like this one. Uh-oh. I don't think there's a way to do it, right? I want to find that so bad. <laughs> Damn. If somebody goes down or somebody cooperates, you got other guys on that same level. And they make a decision as a group of boards do. Uh, this so one? Should I click this? <laughs> Live your life with abandon. Be fearless. Challenge yourself to murder people for the mafia. Laugh every day. Find your voice. Dream big. Dream about killing people for the mafia. Fall madly in love with the mafia and killing people for it. Be passionate and brave enough to escape police incarceration when you kill people for the mafia. This is your life. Use it wisely by snitching once you're done killing for the mafia. <laughs> now that's wise. You've, you're done killing and then you get out of there. This is kind of threatening. Yeah, this is a this is kind of intimidating the way that this is framed. Here's that as a puzzle on eBay. <laughs> cool. Large company. The structure of the mafia was built on the same structure as the This own. is your we life. Use it to kill others. Yep. To one general and impose your general, will. Three star general on your way down. Now they changed it to hold the structure together, which they're having difficulty hold the structure together because of technology. <gasps> Zork, you're right. You did send me a link. Oh my god, I should do that. I forgot. I, I couldn't do it last week, but I'll do it tonight. Because we'll do it after this. Guys, Zork made a fun little thing for you. Just cooperating against the underlings. Zork made a fun little thing I for all of you to enjoy. For lawn. you. They wouldn't be showing it like this, so I'm assuming he's going to get killed in a second. Mr. Angelo. Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. So this is a typical hit, uh, especially in those days. Of so the guy knows cinematography? The guy has just seen a bunch of movies. He's like, oh, yeah, look at the framing device right here. <laughs> Classic two-thirds shot. They got him in the foreground. We've never seen that character before. Face in his back. This is some real Scorsese shit right here. He's going to die, and I know that because I kill people, by the way. Up until the late 90s, even. I hit the light motif in a minor. <laughs> very easy to hit guys when you knew where they lived in the neighborhood, especially in this. You, you know, hear that uh, Discord on the strings there? Yeah, they're not ready for that cities, one. Cities. Queens, Brooklyn, Staten Island. You're supposed to feel a sense of unease there. People minded their business. <laughs> now it's, again, technology. You can't just roll in front of someone's house and do that. There's uh, <laughs> cameras and cameras on every block, lights. You know. Could you have done that back then? Straight up just shoot somebody in broad... I guess so. That's crazy. You just blast somebody in broad daylight? Jeez, dude. Murder was so easy in the 60s. I'm not so convinced that it's that hard now. You ever think that, like, CSI and shit is propaganda? You're telling me you could get my DNA from hair? Okay, buddy. <laughs> What kind of wizardry is that? God? How are you going to do that with me? You think everybody has different fingerprints? Okay. <laughs> you fell for the propaganda. I'm just saying, I, 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 feel like, I feel like those shows could just like... You guys remember the ice pick thing? They had an episode where it was like, if you kill somebody with an ice pick, it's the perfect crime because the weapon melts and it's just water. So it's like, oh, perfect. And then they made an episode about that and they found a way to catch the guy. And I said, bullshit. Oh, icicle. Sorry, not an ice pick. That's what it is. Yes, icicle. The ice pick won't melt. <laughs> icicle, like a piece of ice. That's bullshit. You could get away with it. And I know you could. You'd hit guys when you knew where they lived in the neighborhood, especially in this 
I, I don't know you could. I guess you could. I didn't kill somebody with an icicle. In the cities, Queens, Brooklyn, Staten Island, and people minded their business. Now it's, again, technology. You can't just roll in front of someone's house and do that. Thanks to Ring. There's uh, Ring cameras and cameras on every block, lights. You know Thanks, something, Ring. Carlo? For the last 10 years, all I've done was kill. I killed for my country. I killed for my family. I killed anybody that got in my way. Yeah, this is accurate. The power. <laughs> he did kill for all those reasons. Yeah, I believe it. In the, in the mall, no, that's true. That's exactly what would happen. Yeah. Constantly switches and transfers, and again, out of greed, out of hatred, out of money. <laughs> when the mafia first started, it started with uh, the idea of protecting people that couldn't protect themselves. And Coney, it's a fucking conspiracy. What? <laughs> Ah, so he did this. Okay. Got it. So he was the one to make this happen. Okay. I should have known when he sent me that uwu fufu link. I forgot about that. Why are you still clicking on links? I really should have learned my lesson. Like anything, like any government, the more power you give individuals, they take... Who would go on a website called uwu fufu? A desperate man. Yeah. <laughs> This is accurate. <laughs> Thanks, Shadow. How's that uh, that inhaler going for you? Jesus. Why does he sound like that? What? Why does AI... Like, the TTS is losing <laughs> its touch a little bit. Darth Vader it's like whispering and breathing with a much heavier. He, this is accurate. This is about what <laughs> you would expect if someone got sliced with a lightsaber. Oh, yeah. He is his father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be something that you would do. You would tell your kid right before you sent them into the abyss that you were their dad. That's That happens a lot in the mafia. Yeah. Take more advantage of. So the idea initially was to help, not to hurt. And later on, it becomes something that's bad not good and it started off with good intentions and unfortunately every time you give any man power like this or any individual's power especially as a group they uh, get advantage of the weak and the underlings and that's exactly what happened here and it's exactly what happens in each government around the world it's hard to distribute power without them taking advantage of that damn getting kind of deep here at the end wise very what way is this his name again? Austin is uh something that's really outlawed within the mafia so is bombs they still do it you now that's not accurate you're not supposed to set places on fire i never do that you're not allowed to bomb people even though they're not not supposed to do it is against our rules but it's done and people can't start just deny it, say they didn't do it but the reason why they don't want it done especially bombs is because you, you may be killing innocent people and that's one of the things that uh, is outlawed you're supposed to be professional and carry yourself a different way big mistake outlaw ha mafia has rules yeah that like that's like the whole point is they got like standards and rules and laws and nonsense and shit. Spoken yeah. like he did with the threats that's usual you try to teach the younger guys to keep their mouth shut construction sites big business for the mob but i like mafia too i thought it was very realistic the guys that they play the parts, the guys, the way they dress, the way they talk, the way they, their clothing is, and the way they carry themselves is all oh, used to good enough. I think the simulation and logistics of the game was, was done very well. Whoever consulted on that has a little Consult knowledge of the mafia. He sure. consulted. He's, uh, he surely well. consulted on that. Actually, you know, I think everybody would enjoy playing that game. You play that game once <laughs> game. Everybody? I think you, you have to like it. Hi, everybody. That was Gameology. He's also done GTA 5 assassinations, Mafia 2 deaths. I think we saw Hitman 3. That was the one we saw. <laughs> oh, my God. That was brutal. Okay, I have something very fun for you guys. Hold on. Who is ready for a fun... Wait. <laughs> How do I do this? Continue as guest. Uh, classic mode? Yeah. It's time to play Kahoot! Everybody, join in! We're playing a quick game of Kahoot. Zork has put something together fun for us. I have not looked at the questions or the, the anything about it yet, so... 
This might not be accurate. <laughs> but we do have a quiz here. We do have a quiz with some answers here. From our good friend of the stream, Zork. So here they come. Hey, everybody. Come on in. <laughs> Tammy's kid is pogging out their goddamn mind. Kahoot! <laughs> Dude, I didn't even know what Kahoot was until uh, until I, I started streaming. We didn't have this. This is new. By the way, I got ads now. I'm going to pop them now while you guys join. So I'm not going to start for three minutes. So enjoy these ads. If you don't want ads, Prime. If you don't want Prime, spend $5. If you don't want to spend $5, go to the ad dimension. I'll see you soon. Take them away. Escort them to the ad dungeon. Peel their eyes back and force them to watch T-Pain water products. Mm. I want to drink the T-Pain water. I do not want the metal in my lungs. I want to purchase Tears of the Kingdom. I need a Hyundai Sonata. Last quiz is more you focused. This is more focused on things that happen during the stream. Okay. The new thing is Blue Kit. Look it? Blue kit? I don't know what that is. You should get chat to fill out topsters and then roast them. Oh, that's one of these with like games and stuff. Those are kind of neat. I still don't know if chat's favorite Nintendo series is Xenoblade. Or if they're fucking with me. Because it won that one thing we did a long time ago, remember? And part of me is wondering if that's... I, it was probably an auto-clicker, right? But I mean, it couldn't have accounted for all the votes. Yeah, Xenoblade won the, the favorite Nintendo thing contest. Which is unbelievable. Apparently it's a good series, but not that good, right? I'm really, really glad I did not get Zelda. Not because, like, you know, uh, I'm sure it's good. I'm sure people like it. But whenever I look at gameplay of it, I'm just like, I'm, I would have no fun with this. I, I know I wouldn't like it. It's objectively a good game. When I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, this looks cool for a brain that likes it. But I just, I would feel like I would come up with one solution to, like, get across a big expanse, and I would just do that every time. <laughs> but everybody says they do like it, and they said they probably, that I might like it because it's so good. But I, I'm gonna, I, I don't think that's true. I'm not a Zelda guy. Every time I make a complex contraption to a problem, I'm like, Coney would hate this. I'm a big fan of simplicity, right? Maybe keep it a little bit, you know, you don't need to impress people with your your physics wizardry. Why don't you just make a little bridge, huh? Make it easy. All right, there's 335 people in here, <laughs> including Count Subula, whoever that is. <laughs> Oh, Natasha, the Underworld Doctor. Wow, I'm glad she's here. <laughs> I have gotten that ad nonstop. All right, people are out of here. All right, three, two, one, go count Plicula? Pli I don't want to spoil it. I'm not going to click. You guys should know this one. Why <laughs> is it a cowboy? The cowboy frog. I mean, it's cute, but I'm not sure that I beat a single Tears of the Kingdom puzzle the way it, it was intended, and I love that. Yeah, but that's like the whole point is nothing is intended, which is the point. Why would you say Toadsworth? You did this on purpose. These are probably new people that think I like, I'm one of those like Paper Mario guys who's like, oh, why don't they bring back Thousand Year Doors? <laughs> you know, that common chestnut. No. Who's Toad with glasses? That's dumb. 
who answered fastest. Well done, Mr. Denki. That one was easy. Which impractical joker did our streamer do? This might be the 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 biggest waste of money in our in our relationship between Mal and I. I cannot believe she did that. It was very sweet and very nice. But why did she do that? Two hundred and fifty dollars for this? <laughs> what? For what? Oh, you guys thought it was Sal. You would, yeah. No, so Mallory got me a cameo from Joe from Practical Jokers. I don't know why, but he said happy birthday. I wanted to make sure she's not behind me. <laughs> I don't want her to like be mad at me if she hears me saying that. Shut up, Coney. It was nice. He didn't even try. He didn't, like, look at any of the things she gave him. He was just like, hey, Zach, happy birthday. Larry, you know, it's just not. But you're right. I I, I seem like a Sal guy. I see why you would say that. Was it your birthday? I thought so. Maybe it was Christmas, which is worse. Hi, whoever that is. True or false? Coney finds LeChonk adorable. Ah, this little guy here. Not going to give anything away. Not going to say anything. But it is a pig. You guys know how I feel about pigs, right? I have been on record to talk about pigs. But, um, not this one. This one is disgusting. It's, it's fucking mucus. It's so gross. It smells like shit, too. I think canonically in the thing it said that it smelled awful. It's just so gross. He's like sticky and mucusy. I don't know. I hit the wrong one. <laughs> Why did how? How did you how did you mess up a true or false? There's only two options and they're obvious. The disturbing agenda behind Pokemon featured who labeled as a woman. The only one that would be. What the fuck is this? This is too easy. You made the quiz too easy. Well, I guess it could be two people on here. Well, three, actually. <laughs> James did have that one episode. Yeah, come to think of it. Okay, that one was the day of the people. What day? Oh, dude, I don't know. I don't know this at all. I don't think any of you would. Why would you? This is just a guess. Click fast and pray. Well, it's probably not Christmas. That seems like a day I would remember. October 20th. 10-20. Now I remember that forever, thanks to this quiz. And hopefully you will too. <laughs> not Christmas? Who is the Pokemon Battle Royale winner? Ah... Now this one's a test. If you guys didn't stick around for the Pokemon Battle Royale, you're not a true Kony fan. These are like my favorite streams. I love doing this shit. And if you weren't around for it, I'm mad at you. Why are these all Pokemon related? Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Oh, you guys got mixed. Oh, you thought Claude, sir. Because he did win a couple, but no, it wasn't Molga. At the very end, it was Emolga. You would think it was Claude, sir, but no, Emolga, eventually we gave him that lightning tail, and he hit that fucking... <laughs> Go-Goat was the worst. I don't know why you thought it was... Again, maybe a little bit too easy. I mean, I don't want to... I don't want to give this one away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like. What does champion mean? I think you know. I think you know what it means. You just want me to elaborate. No, it is true. It is true. Mario Soccer, that's me. Small Ant Carry, shut the fuck up. Small Ant's lucky I picked him. He gave me 50 bucks. And I said, all right, on my back, young man. I was the pack mule. I carried him across the finish. I will say, him coming up with that defense strategy was fantastic. That was really good. That was so good. That that really is the, the speedrunner diff, right? Like, he had this idea, just a spark of creativity and inspiration out of nowhere. He's like, here, you play. I was like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> and we cheated. I love that. 
damn, X these is on a straight seven. Oh my god, you should have done older than that. You should have <laughs> multiverses. You should have done like 2017. Get the real people in the chat. That's too easy. Come on. Why did I click Pizza Tower? Oh, you thought it was this year. Oh, uh, yeah. No, it was Elden Ring, obviously, right? Three people lost their answer streak. How? That was the easiest one. By the way, is... uh, <coughs> Give it to me straight. Is Tears of the Kingdom better than Pizza Tower? And be honest, I can take it. Is it is it out of game of the year? It is. Oh. Oh, it hurts. Oh. Objectively, okay. Oh man, that's sad. Stay strong, Cody. It's still my game of the year, but I haven't played anything. Like the only thing that was close is Res Evil 4. They're so different. Yeah, but one can be Goaty. Only one can be Goaty. The only one that I played that I liked was RE4. Jedi Survivor was, like, fine, but, like, it's not... I was kind of disappointed, so... In what universe did you think Tears of the Kingdom would have suplexed PT? <laughs> you mean, like, when PT would have beaten Tears of the Kingdom? I don't know. If people are like, wow, this is just a rehash. Look at this Breath of the Wild DLC. I paid $70 for Breath of the Wild 2. Boo! I thought people might be mad at it. Armored Core 6 is going to take Game of the Year. I haven't seen that footage yet, actually. I've been meaning to watch that. I forgot. Which one of these characters was not featured and who asked? Ooh! This one's kind of hard, actually, right? Ah! Because there's a couple of these. Ah. Easy? Only if you're a super fan. I think a lot of people would mess this up. Oh, wait, no, this one is kind of easy. Yeah, obviously it's Sora. Because the other ones are so obscure. Sora is so, like, blatant. I guess that is too too easy. The other characters are super obscure and weird. <laughs> Never mind. All right, that was too easy. Your wheel champ winner. Dude, this is the most... <laughs> I see... Lightning McQueen! That thumbnail will haunt me forever. This is the number one video on my channel. Of course people know this. They have to. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Jackson's pretty... I'm gonna dance all over you! That still comes into my head every once in a while. I still think about that. Never watch the video. It's very good. I highly recommend that video. That was the first wheel champ, and it's the best one by a mile. Uh, the other wheel champs are like experimental, and I'm trying different things, but that one was fucking good. It's very good. I'll probably spin the wheel on Sunday. If I stream Sunday. I don't know. Maybe. Ben the dog was last seen during Family Feud. True or false? Ooh! Ooh! I don't know. Ben's been gone a while. <laughs> he kind of he kind of fell off a little bit. He hasn't been around for a bit. It was a dumb gimmick. True. Okay. I thought I used him at a different point. This might be fake. This might not be accurate for all I know. How would you... That, this, this feels a little too easy. Like, because it's obvious. Okay, so this is the last question. I'm just going to hard read it. It's probably about my height, right? Or bald. It's probably a height or bald thing, right? No. Okay, never mind. Thank God. <laughs> GameSpot's Battle Rig feature. What game Cody was hired to hype up? Yeah, so I worked at an event at E3 where I had to force people to try a game on a big battle rig truck in a big open area in California. What game was it? You know it was Fortnite. Of course it was Fortnite. It had to be Fortnite. And I got a damn. 489th? How many people were in this? How many people were in this quiz? 
I didn't know there were that many. Difficult questions. Four. Damn, that's actually crazy. <laughs> Nobody knew the can. Wait, only 30% knew this one? That had to be a bit. You guys were clicking wrong on purpose. Right? Surely. That has to be a bit. That's like one of my best videos. It's been a long time. Well, that that just that means it's a great opportunity to watch it again. You'll be surprised all over again at what you find. I don't watch your YouTube. <laughs> I get it. I don't know. I, I guess I need to record YouTube specific stuff. Cuz like why would you ever watch Twitch and YouTube, right? Armor Core 6. How long does the game play? By the way, thanks, Zork, for putting that together. Big ups. Everybody drink it up for Zork. We're close to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. Are you going to play this game upside down again? Handler. Like with the, with the upside down controller? That's the only thing I know about Armored Core. Alter. Verified. Is that you play this shit with the PS2 Activated controller backwards? Control device. <laughs> this game might be bad. It's from soft. It's not bad. I I wonder if they're gonna make it weird though. All these people that like Armor Core are just from soft fanboys, but like. It's such a... It doesn't feel like an accessible series at all. Like, it doesn't feel like any something anybody could jump into. Augmented human, C4621, has awakened. Okay. This looks really cool, actually. I like the way it looks. I like that a lot, actually. It looks nice. Now, I don't know how it plays. I have no idea what this is going to feel like in my hands. And I worry about my controller being upside down while I try to do it. None of this is gameplay, though, right? Actually, come to think of it. It's probably just pre-rendered. It does look like Nier, although I think any... Anything with robots in this big, like, structural kind of industrial feel is always going to be near. This is 100% gameplay. You don't know that. How do you know? Oh, it's gameplay trailer. Okay. Well, maybe they lied. This is obviously gameplay. Obviously. <laughs> One of the infamous handler Walter sounds. Interesting. You don't you know. FromSoft always lying. That's what I'm saying. That's what they're known for. That's like the number Priority one thing FromSoft is known for. Lying in trailers. A the from the generator. This looks very good. Watch out. Although, again, I don't know what the gameplay is. And I feel Why like playing the old games would be a good idea. Yo, cool thing to say at the end of a trailer. That's a really cool line to drop. <laughs> cool. Is FromSoft just Japanese Westaboos? No. One, they're called Freeaboos. And two, that's Suda. Suda is the biggest Freeaboo. What does that even mean? I don't know. I was hoping you guys knew. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> yes, it came onto my recommended. <laughs> Wait. Wait. 
Hold on. Okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no more of that. I'm not doing that anymore. Pawn Stars. Top four super rare Nintendo games, including one of the rarest, Super Mario Bros. A million dollars? <laughs> Any excuse I could get to watch Pawn Stars, I take every time. How's it going? Good, good. One million dollars for Super Mario Bros? What a steal! Down to like 500k or so. Like, I thought he would try to get something out of it. He's really holding it. He thinks that's a million dollar copy. That's crazy. And then the WADA thing came out as a scam. And he probably can't even get 50k. For that's fucked up. Good to meet you, man. Thank you. I'm okay. That no they just want to expose you for WADA? Yeah, it feels that way. It's like on Shark Tank when people come in just to, like, show their product on NBC. And then Mark gets really mad. <laughs> Mark hates that shit, dude. No offer was made. I'm happy to keep the game. And uh, it's a piece of history. Mark so gets so mad. Hey, how you Def spent 30k on those and wants a return on investment. Oh, dude, definitely. I, I feel like Pat probably bought those two for a YouTube video and the YouTube video got him a couple thousand. He's like, all right, time to sell these back and nobody will buy them. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Cause like I could see if you're a rich YouTuber, right? If you're like doing well on YouTube, you could do stunt buys. I bought this, this highly coveted item for $20,000. What is it like? And then you do it and you sell it back. I told him to say that. Who wrote that for him? Who wrote that for this epic hardcore gamer? <laughs> oh my god. So what do we got here? His life is like a video game. So hey, mine too, actually. I've been dollars to play duck hunt. Skills are pretty sharp. I walked out with six hundred and fifty bucks. I think my negotiating skills are pretty good. I made a deal that was nearly half of what I asked for. Not bad. Art of the deal. <laughs> that poor woman. Pawn shops are nasty. I, I hate them. Dude, look what I got recommended. And don't bat chest, okay? I think these are cool as hell. So... I have recently, I don't know if you guys have seen it. I've got this thing in the back. Well, hold on. I've got this arcade cab, right? And it's got an issue with it where the, um, oh, actually, hold on. Never mind. I, is it too much Popeye posting for one day? Hold on. Look what I found. This guy is like 10 years old. <laughs> I bought this a long time ago. Is this a bed? Yep, that's where I sleep at the end of all my streams, right there. <laughs> Mal and I both crawl in that together. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know when I bought this. I, it was at Universal literally like 10 years ago, something like that. It's cute. Um, No, so I have this, right? I have the arcade cab, and it's a CRT, and it has a glass screen, and there's some chips in it and dents in it. So I've been looking up, like, how to fix that, because apparently CRT screens are really hard to fix. Um at least, like, to get the chips off. And you can't just do, like, a straight-up uh, glass repair because there's, like, a glossy thing on it. And so I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I've been getting a lot of arcade shit recommended to me, and I just got this video, and I'm just fucking obsessed now. Look at how fucking cool that is. Oh, my God. I want one of these so fucking bad. I reached out to this guy. He lives in Pennsylvania. <laughs> and he apparently the materials for this are only uh, 200 bucks, But you have to build the whole thing. Like with MDF and a printer and a, a fucking... You have to wire things and get a marquee and all this stuff. And I'm just... I, I, I just... I, I just want to, I want him to do it. I want to see if he'll do it. <laughs> so I hit him up. I was like, hey, can I just pay you to make one? <laughs> the reason, though, is because I have that, but that's all emulated. Uh, I already, I still have the actual physical stuff. So if I could put the physical stuff in something like this, that'd be really cool to me. So, 
Just use a Raspberry Pi or whatever. That's what I have in there. I can't use it right now because it has vertical collapse. And I had to get another guy to show up to replace the vertical chip. And he should be here next week. Never buy a CRT. It's a fucking nightmare. It's really bad. Trade him 10 free factor meals for his work. Whoa, wait a minute. Free factor meals are worth their weight in gold. You know those are chef made, right? And delivered right to your door quickly. We love factor meals here. And if you're skeptical and haven't tried it yourself, remember, you could get 50% off your first box by using the panel below the stream or using the thing right there that you see in the, the little thing. Use that code. Check it out, everybody. Where's your factor meals? I ate them all. <laughs> because I'm voracious. They were delicious. Prove it. How? Wow, 10 free meals. It's true. Does that, that sound good to you? Are you guys too rich to not? You're laughing in the face of 10 free meals. That's funny to you. Oh, I'm too privileged. Those meals don't do anything for me. I don't want to save money on eating food, which is necessary to human survival. All right, well, if you're that rich, drop 10 subs right now. Come on, big guy. Huh? <laughs> Either buy factor right now or gift 50. Huh? Right now. <laughs> I simply won't eat. Okay. I like to cook low-key. Hey, then you're going to love next month's sponsor. Hey, if you like cooking, I've got a brand new sponsor for you. That's all about cooking. Your own delicious meals that also get delivered right to your door. Wait till you see who they are. <laughs> you're not going to believe it. You will not believe what it is. <laughs> going to blow your mind. Uh, you guys remember when I made a stage tier list for Smash? Well, Action Esports uploaded this, like, literally the day of. Why are 80% of Melee stages banned? And I'm actually kind of curious, because I know a lot of the, like, other stages that I know about. But I don't know about Melee stages. So I'm kind of curious if they know more than I do. I'm going to give it a shot. Super Smash Bros. Melee. Has a total Ah, see Godoyf. See Godoyf is the only one out here that really appre appreciates true artistry in their food. He would never give up ten free meals because he can he can afford it. He knows he can get those ten free meals and then keep paying for it after. And he knows the value of that chef cooked delivered meal right to your door. Delicious. Of twenty nine. This got on my recommended me too. That's why it's on stages. Today, six are used in competitive play. Uh Yeah, all the other ones suck. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I think that's the video, is the rest are just bad. That's it. I, <laughs> I thought there'd be some story. I, like, the only one that isn't that bad is Congo Jungle. But there's an entire set that decided what happened there. So Final destination. I think it's a little solved. Story, yeah. Dreamland 64, Pokemon Stadium, and Fountain of Dreams. So why did 80% of the game's content get removed from competitive play? Today, we're going to look at Some what people makes still a good use stage, Mute City. what makes a bad stage, and how Melee's rule set has changed over time. You might <laughs> Oh my god. This is what that shit looks like without Slippy. When they turn Slippy off, this is what I see. Be surprised which stages were considered tournament legal and how long they survived. That actually was legal for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yoshi's was around for a bit. Early tournaments were lawless. Items on, five stocks, every single stage in play. Five that was the rule stocks. set for Tournament Go 3 in 2002. Hell yeah. By today's standards, it's almost another game entirely. So let's fast forward and set our start date in 2004, when the Melee Backrooms, or MBR rule set, was first set in stone. It's weird that we don't have a backroom anymore. I'm kind of happy about it. Were you guys around for backrooms? Backrooms were uh, a melee and brawl thing and kind of in Smash 4. It was basically like an elder's council, okay? So the idea is you would be invited into the back room if you were a known figure or a top player or somebody who had some level of influence in the community, right? 
The idea is that you're you're supposed to enter if you care about the good of the game and it's to get people's opinions about certain matters. What it actually ended up being, in all actuality, was uh, just uh, a circle jerk club. Everybody just wanted to be a part of the club and say that they were part of the back room and not actually do anything. And if they did do ever anything, it would specifically to be to their own personal benefit. <laughs> I was in the back room. I was in the brawl back room. On Smashboards, they gave you a purple name if you were in the back room. And everybody wanted the purple name because it meant that you were somebody. You meant something. I imagine everybody in there got a huge power trip. I don't know how it is in other fighting games or other games in general. I assume it's the same. But in Smash, it is extremely common for, like, people to chase this phantom of relevancy, this idea of being famous or known. And maybe it's because, like, in Smash, it's easy to be known, right? But I don't know. It's always been a thing. We don't have money, so we need clout. Yes, yeah, Slime has talked about that. In a, in a community without financial compensation, the only real reward that you can get unless you're, like, made uh, is adoration or respect or acknowledgement, which is weird, but I don't know. Read Lord of the Flies. <laughs> oh, somebody caught up on their summer reading, huh? You getting ready for summer, big guy? <laughs> ready to ready to get out of school soon? Go to the pool? <laughs> of the 29 available stages, eight were banned. That's a fun book. I like that book. Right out of the gate. First on the chopping block is Hyrule Temple, which is just huge and easy to camp. Yoshi's Island 64 is next. <laughs> this stage is reason. so funny. If I ever feel like be being a piece of shit, I load up this stage and I'm right there. I love this stage so much. This is legitimately some of the most fun you could ever have playing Smash, and I'm not joking. Just playing with your friends and getting on the cloud, and then come on, man. Double jumping. As soon as they try to come over there, you make the cloud go. I love that so much. This stage is fantastic. Do Falco's lasers even make it? I think they run out. Maybe it's in it's in uh it's in ultimate. I don't know. I think I think Falco's lasers run out or something. Coney is that guy in the free for all. Yeah, I'm that guy stretching out the camera so you can't see. I'm that guy making it so your character is this big and you're trying to fight everybody else. You're just a little tiny figurine. I love this stage so much. Isn't it's big <laughs> and certain characters literally cannot recover oh, from parts this. of it. Flat zone is tiny has falling projectiles, and actually makes all characters two-dimensional, which causes hitboxes to behave differently than they would on other stages. Venom slows the game down, has all sorts Venom. of janky walls, and our wings shoot you full of lasers. That shit used to be legal, I think. I don't know how that was ever legal. That shit seems easy to camp. Force hide is pretty much all walls, has no real flat area to fight, and has a giant UFO that comes down and messes <laughs> things up. Uh, dude, I played Ness in 64, it was crazy to me that these buildings, and this is Melee, obviously, but this looks just like the Saffron City in 64. Ness gets fucked up by this on his own stage. Like, if you go down there, you can't come back because you can't loop the, the thing. You're just dead. This stage should be legal. I, I would like more stages, straight up. Great Seriously. Bay is tiny has a disappearing turtle. I the love the turtle! The side is like three feet from the stage. And also, this guy. Freak. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that sounded real. That wasn't acting. Oh my God. Little gremlin. Little baby man. Oh Icicle God. Mountain is banned. I didn't know people still hated Tingle. I thought that was over. Oh my God. Because of the fact that half the time well, you're obviously. more focused on navigating the stage than fighting your opponent. Yeah, the stage is not star depths because, I mean, just just look at it. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that leaves us stage. with 21 tournament legal stages as of 2004. Yeah. So how did we shorten that list to just six? First, let's define what constitutes a quote-unquote bad stage. Okay. We can consider a bad stage to be anything that introduces excessive randomness, compromises the competitive integrity of the game by putting certain characters at a considerable advantage over others, or contains exploitable terrain. Let's look at the last one first. 
temple is a great example of a stage that's just way too big. Okay, yeah. If a player were using Fox, they could shoot a couple of lasers, get a percent lead, and then run around for 8 minutes until the timer winds down and they win by default. Same goes for Yoshi 64. So obviously, <laughs> I did, my, there's so much joy in my heart whenever I see that stage, even just for a moment. Large stages are out. Too long didn't watch Melee players or whiny babies. So true, dude. Deal with it. Go get that fox. Oh, no, I can't catch him. Well, then maybe you should play fox. Maybe you should pick a character with a gun. Why don't you shoot him? He's a projectile, homeboy. Come on. Out. At the same time, small stages like Great Bay Cha! are also out. Icicle Mountain and Brinstar Depths are just way too weird in terms of map geometry, and they're pretty much unplayable in a serious setting. So weird or exploitable terrain are out. The next thing is stage hazards, which includes things like falling objects. Flat zone, out. Walls are also a no-no. So, Dude, I, I hate... And I know this is so stupid, and I know this is such low-hanging fruit. I hate how tiny, like, how does a ship come out of there? Right? Like, how does that ship come out? How does Fox fit in the ship that comes out of there? It's not that small. I, j I don't, like, I hate the great Fox. So Venom and Foresight are banned <laughs> because you can perform infinites with characters like Fox, I I hate Pikachu, Ness, Young Link, etc. We oh, also have to infinite? be wary of the Cave of Life. Oh, I thought I clicked on a different vi- I was like, what the fuck? Did I get auto-played? What the fuck is this? Which is a closed-off section of the map where characters can live to insane percentages. Think the lower half of the temple. Yeah. These were the main things taken into consideration Thank God they added stages. Uh, However, tech over the years, it Untackable? became apparent Thank God that there that. were more problems so with stages, good. and as players Finally. became more technically proficient, more stages had to be banned to avoid them being exploited. The first thing we're going to look at is called a walk-off. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a part of the stage where you can walk off to the blast zone. Of the tournament legal stages under the MBR 2004 rule set, five of them had walk-offs. Mushroom Kingdom, 1 and 2, Yoshi's Island, Onet, and Big Blue. I think Onet was legal for a while. I don't think Onet is that bad. I don't know. In the early if you're at like 160 and you just sit by the, by the corner. Days of Melee. These stage design flaws weren't a yeah. huge issue. Sure, you could camp in the blast zone, wait for your opponent to yeah, an airplane, okay. and then back throw them into oblivion, yeah. but only an idiot would fall for these kinds of degenerate attacks. Instead, walk-offs became a problem when Fox mains started getting more and more technical. For example, footage oh, of this yeah. tournament set surface <laughs> where Fox mains Elgatus put Eddie's Ganon in a blender and wave shined him up the hill oh on Yoshi's God. Island three times to win the game with you can't do that on Onet, though. You can't do that there. It's too tight. But only I think on it zone. is wait you for can't, your opponent to nair more. Like and the house is too close to win the game with ease. You Against be able to get that off. Like she can peach. All Fox has to do is land one shine near a walk off, and it's basically a guaranteed kill. But there were other reasons why these five stages got banned. Let's start with the obvious, Big Blue, which got itself banned by being a terrible, stupid stage that no one likes. Yeah. From the cars, to the weird terrain, to the oh. fact that if you land on the road, you get sucked into the blast zone, Big Blue is an abomination, well, no, and anyone there's who something... says they like this stage is lying to your face. No, that stage sucks, but there is something to like riding the... I, I kind of like riding this, the road. That's kind of neat. Same with uh with Japes. There, I said it. See, that's cool. I have spoken. I think that's neat. Okay, let's move on. Mushroom Kingdom and Yoshi's Island have blocks that you can fall through. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Mushroom Kingdom uh, and Yoshi's Island. There is something about this fox pose that is so intimidating to me. Why does he do that? Like, he gets up on his tippy toes. He looks like a scarecrow. He's like a marionette that's being held up by his strings. It's terrifying. He looks possessed. Yeah, this is like, this is like the mom at the end of Hereditary, like in the corner. I hate that fox. And have blocks that you can Freaky, fall through man. or use as a cave of life. Mushroom Kingdom 2 features Birdo. Birdo! Who comes in, shoots what looks like eggs, I love and then runs away. Onet has tons of weird geometry, no bottom blast zone, and random cars doing 90 in a school zone, dealing 30% to any children playing in the street. I think you could make Onet work. I really do. I think there's a way to make that work. Maybe not melee. Random cars doing 90 I think you in a do school it. I zone, think you do dealing 30% to any children. Stage free zone at, what, just so no cars? I think the cars are the least of your worries. 
People know that, right? But then playing in the street. No kids. The kids? So yeah, these stages were banned pretty quickly. Now we're moving into that stages bad. that are almost legal. Like, just on the edge of being playable, but not quite. This these stages legal were legal while. under the 2008 <laughs> rule set, but were banned shortly after. Did anybody else watch the Mario movie and were like, Oh my god, is this a Melee reference? Anyone else? The, 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 they keep bombing the castle. Nobody else did that? I did. When I saw it, I was like, oh, this is like the, the castle level in Melee. Shortly after. That's Let's start me. with okay. Princess Peach's castle, which is probably I love this level. the least this level tournament bangs. viable in this section. I love the giant this tower in the middle splits the map in two. There are platforms that appear when you step on switches. Bonsai Bill blowing up the map is understandably problematic. See, Bonsai Bill blows it up like in the movie with the nuke. But most importantly, the stage has walls. Similar to Zelgadis running up that hill like Kate Bush on Yoshi's Island, walls are problematic yeah. because if a Fox player is technical enough, they can trap their opponent against the wall and perform an infinite. For this reason, Corneria was also banned. Although it has other issues like R wings that come in and shoot you mid-match and the giant cool, laser though. cannon under the Just don't ship. Jump. Thankfully, now we got dangerous. some sick combos before we said goodbye. But it's also dangerous. Like you don't want to be down there, right? Yo, that's so fucking cool. I don't care what anybody says. Watching somebody lose hundreds of dollars because Slippy decided to take them off the top is so funny. It's so funny, dude. Peppy just deciding that he wanted to take you out once and for all. That is amazing. I love that. <laughs> that shit is famous. This might be top 10 most famous melee clips. Maybe not all time. Maybe top 20 though. It's uh, it's it's pretty high. Brinstar is top 20 a weird surely. One. The ace I mean wombo combo is one. Symmetrical platforms wouldn't necessarily be a problem <laughs> except for the fact that the floor is uneven. Also, this stage can be broken in half. The platforms cut loose and the stage floods with acid, completely stopping gameplay. I know it smelled crazy in there. This shit is gross. Who designed Metroid? This shit is nasty. That's a brain. What does it smell like inside a skull? What does a brain smell like? I guess this is, there's like a lot of other stuff, like decay, like this wall. My favorite thing about this stage is if you jump into the acid right from the angel platform, <laughs> your invulnerability makes you tank the hits and you just fall to your death. I didn't know that. Neat. What Metroid game is this even referencing? Uh, Smash 64, I think. <laughs> this is kind of the same. Was this in Super Metroid? I mean, it had to have been Super, right? Mother Brain was never just, like, here. Oh, does she tra traverse through these pipes? I never even noticed the pipes. Floods with acid, completely stopping gameplay. Hey, uh, listen. I don't know how to tell you this. Five seconds till ads. Drop a prime, tier one. Sorry, no snoozies. If you don't want ads, subscribe to Twitch Prime. It's free. Go below the stream. Click the button. If you don't want to do that, that's okay. It's only $5 a month. And the ads that you're going to see are going to be way more expensive. Save yourself some money. Subscribe. Thank you. <gasps> Ooh. Hold on. I just got a message. Sorry. My favorite thing about this stage is if you jump into the acid right from the goofy uh uh stage. Green greens would have been a cool stage. No, I made a whole video about this. Sort of like small battlefield if the floor of the nope, stage. Nope, bad was stage. Unfortunately, instead of a floor, the stage is broken up by two sets of falling destructible blocks, which are sometimes actually not blocks, but bombs. Which explode. I don't like that. That's too fast. It blinks too fast. That shit hurt my eyes. And kill you. 
Also, the tree shoots out apples, which you can throw like projectiles. Bonk, bam. Funnily enough, three of the most borderline legal stages in the game all come from the same franchise, Donkey Kong. Wait, they didn't talk about Mute City, did they? I guess they're gonna talk about it later. I love Mute City. I think Mute City is cool as hell. These are Congo Jungle, Congo Jungle 64, <laughs> and Jungle Japes. All these okay, so what is the Rishi Congo thing? What What's the deal with that? What is that? It's, it's this stage, but how, what do you do? What makes it different? You don't want to know? <laughs> what is it? The video is goaded? Okay. I'll watch the video sometime. Go jungle. Congo I've been to attorneys that have had Congo Jungle 64 legal. Jungle 64. This is just a handshake between two players. Like, hey, are you a piece of shit? No, me neither. All right, let's go here. <laughs> this stage is so cool aesthetically. This is like one of my favorite stages to look at. But and Jungle Japes. All three of these I hate stages that we can't have, have one thing in common. It's what happens under the stage. That Imagine living here, dude. Is it always like this? It's probably just like a monsoon, right? What is Cranky doing? Cooking something up. He's got a, a meth lab in there. <laughs> Bro got the beakers. Wait, he wasn't... Melee was after 64. I'm so dumb. I was like, I was like, wait, he wasn't like a scientist yet. That wasn't like his thing. But in, in DK64, he was a science guy. Yeah, That yeah, makes yeah, them yeah. Okay. unfit for yeah. tournament play. Sure. Jungle Japes has a river that flows under it, which is home to one of the deadliest predators known to man. The they are literally the same place rotated and at night. What? Wait, these? You mean jungle and this? Is that real? <laughs> like, I'm actually looking at it like, it, it, it did, did I just discover something? I don't think that's true. A child's imagination is wonderful. Uh, I'm confused. It's under the stage that they makes them something unfit else? for tournament play. <laughs> Jungle Japes has a river that flows under it. Dude, it took me like eight years to figure out that there was an alligator on this level. Which is home to one of the deadliest- Yeah! There he is! Let's go! I did not know about this guy until like 2009. Seriously, I did not know he existed. Deadliest predators <laughs> known to man. I love the clap trap. I love Who clap comes trap. out of nowhere to drag you to the depths of the glass zone. <laughs> Congo Jungle and Congo Jungle 64 both have big rotating barrels that go back and forth under the stage to catch anyone who falls into them. Which is kind of cool. In the barrel lets you shoot out of it to recover, but it's really, really difficult to aim accurately. And that's why it's cool. To compensate, that's neat. both of these stages have permeable floors, meaning you can fly up. Bro, that shit is permeable. I've been through that. the bottom at any point. Permeable. Unfortunately, permeable floors are not tournament viable and lead to stuff like this. I mean. Stomper. Speaking of Peach versus Bro's got two spikes. This is Ganon. The straw do something, pussy. That broke the monkey. Simply ban Peach. Yeah, dude. Who else could do that? That's a Peach issue. And lead ban this versus Peach. Who else could do this? Meta Knight? To stuff like Right? Puff. No. No, 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 no. I don't think Puff could up air this. This is Peach only. Puff could in theory. Puff could in theory, but I don't think she's completely safe here. She can't. No. Puff could spam pound. Oh, I didn't think of pound. Never mind. This. <laughs> Let's continue. Speaking of I was thinking of up air. I was gonna say you could trade with up air. You could trade with up air or 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 get a disjoint or something. I didn't consider pound. That's a little bit more uh yeah, it's a little bit safer. The straw that okay. broke the monkey's back for Congo Love Jungle 64 <laughs> was this game between Rock Croc and Pink Shinobi, where the height of the side platforms was abused to their fullest extent. Meta Knight wasn't in this game. On top of this, yeah, he didn't both get Congo banned, Jungles yeah. have weird Not floor geometry, point. and the newer of the two has logs that randomly appear, a rock on the side that can easily be camped, and 
You guessed it, Claptrap. Oh, he's here too? What the fuck? He's on this level too? I didn't know that. I didn't know that one. A red one? Oh my god. That's so, so cool. I love Claptrap. Where does this leave us? So far, we've confidently cool. banned 20 of Melee's 29 stages. Damn, okay. That leaves us with three to go before we finally settle on a true competitive rule set. Uh -huh. So what are... Kony does not play casual stages. I really don't, dude. So I put out the, um, my ultimate tier, uh, the ultimate, the tier list of stages that I wish were legal and should be on. And, like, people are like, this is just a brawl tier list. This is a brawl stage list. And I was like, yeah, I've never played on the ultimate ones. People are like, what about Yggdras Yggdrasil or whatever that stage is? Or, like, Skyloft. I'm like, I don't know. I didn't play that shit. That's it. Why did you leave Halberd off? I think the claw and the laser are a little bit too far. I think claw and laser a little bit too interactive. Personally. That's just me, though. Are the last three. And hazards off? Oh, yeah. Wait. <laughs> Never mind. Turn them on. You're right. I forgot. Turn them back on. Turn them back on. Survive for You're this right. Long, they must be incredibly close. I to forgot about that. Viable, right? Actually, no. Never mind. Keep it off. I have seen so many people die at the start of Halberd, where it does that big takeoff. People try to. People do something bad. I don't even know why it happens, but they get left behind in the dock. <laughs> It definitely is a skill issue, but somebody would definitely find a way to lock somebody in shit. Like, somebody would find a way to abuse that, I think. You don't want to fight Sonic there. Sonic is going to get over there, knock you off the platform, and then you're dead. What the f***? According to the script in front of me, three Yay! of the last stages to be officially banned in Melee were Rainbow Cruise, Mute City, and Poke Floats? I can't believe Let's just get this to it. stage Rainbow hasn't Cruise come back. Rainbow Cruise is a side-scroller. Right? The ship crashes... The platforms move and tilt and disappear. It's an absolute nightmare. And yet, the stage was a legal counterpick until 2010. It wasn't cool until Dr. PP laid the smackdown on Mewtwo King at ROM 3 <laughs> that the stage was finally axed. Hmm, really? Huh. Next. Makes you think. <laughs> Mute City. Where to start? Must have been a back room discussion happening right after that. The main platform has no grabbable ledges and is fully permeable. The floor of the track is also permeable. You can bounce off <laughs> it. F Zero drivers hit by kill cars. him. There are walls that appear and block recovery, and most notably, fa and get hit by cars. Go there up. There are walls that appear. Go up, Fox. <laughs> what kind of what kind of whiny ass Fox would go into the stage and then complain they didn't recover? Oh wait, all of them. <laughs> I play Fox, you can't win. <laughs> and block recovery, and most notably, fast but fallers look. get absolutely trounced once they're off stage. Plus, floaties like Peach are OP, as shown by Armada at Genesis 1, where he beat Mango on the stage, and we haven't seen it as a legal counterpick since. Ah, okay. So if the wrong guy wins, we get rid of it. Okay, sure. I will say, though, Peach does seem very toxic and fucked up on this stage. But she also gets Dreamland, right? It also feels like a Dreamland thing. But no, actually, unironically, that doesn't seem fun or fair at all. <laughs> Finally, Poke Floats. Yay! I'm not going to say anything about this stage. I'm just going to let the montage play. Hey, it's in a predictable way. <laughs> Did you guys get to see what you didn't get to see it? Look at what <laughs> Bring this back. Bring this back. <laughs> Eric, no. That's good. Is this, is, are we serious? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay. He's dead. This He's thing trying rules. to. Oh! <laughs> All right. So that leaves us. I can't believe they never made a second one. Make it Poking Floats 2 with the new ones, right? Like, that feels like a no brainer. Just do that. With six stages. Sure. Fountain of Dreams is banned in doubles because if everyone selects Ice Climbers, the game freezes. And. Which will not happen. I don't even know if there are four. There's probably like three now. Sure. Some of the stages. One of them retired, right? Didn't Slug retire? Stages have slanted angles. Moving. Gardevoir float? Oh, God. Yeah, maybe don't give. 
uh, modders that model. I think that's true. We shouldn't give that to ultimate folks. Platforms, that's true. shy guys that affect your trajectory, a tree that blows you sideways, and a cute little cloud named Randall. But at the end of the day, it's not his name. These offenses are benign compared to what name. came before. In fact, oh God, oh Jesus, what the hell is happening? <laughs> okay, we should probably talk about this. Okay, how do we feel about Stadium? How do you guys feel about Stadium? Here we go. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, let, let, let me just... Frozen Stadium is based. Frozen Stadium doesn't hit the same. I don't care enough to feel about Stadium. Okay, listen. I'm not a Melee player. I don't play Melee, so I don't care. Well, I don't play Melee, but I'm still going to give my opinion. Okay. I I I think I think it's fine. Depends on if you're playing or just watching. Yeah, as a non as a non player, don't listen to me. But also, like, come the fuck on. Right? It's like what twenty seconds? Just deal with it. Some of the best moments in my mind, some of my most memorable moments are watching two people flirt from across this tree. <laughs> how long is it? 20 seconds, right? How long How long are the transformations? Two guys just standing here. One of them's, like, pretending like he's going to hit the other, but he doesn't. There's that one, uh, the, the exchange between Wizrobe and Zane. Oh, my God, dude. It's magical. It's so good. I just feel like it, it creates so many moments. Now, I'm not someone who has to compete in those moments. I'm not somebody who has hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on the line watching people go to war <laughs> in the rock pit. But as an observer, I think we should keep that shit on. Remember when Plup fell through the tree? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. That was pretty funny. Dude, in Melee, who cares? One stock is not a lead. You lose one stock. Boo-hoo. Who gives a shit? This. Pokemon Stadium is a great stage. Really great. Good platforms. Awesome length. I don't care. That's quite big. No top platform to camp. There are just two issues with it. You can't really see yourself while you're recovering. And the transformations. When the Jumbotron starts flashing, the competitive viability <laughs> of this stage goes out the window. There's the pit. The cliff. The windmill. Jigglypuff's rollout goes hyperspeed on the grass. The tree Wait, does of it? Life, I mean, cave of I didn't life. know that. On the fire transformation, the floor turns into not floor. Yo! And then this happens. <laughs> he actually hit the, he hit the... I can't. He hit the thumbnail post. I can't. He fell through the stage. Omega lol. Life. On the fire... Oh my god. Hey, it was only game two. And... And he was barely winning. He got down thrown by Falcon. He probably would he shouldn't attack. He shouldn't attack. It was the tech. The floor turns also he would have made it if he not angled his recovery. He went this way. If he went that way, he would have made it. Floor. And then this happens. That was some shit. Plup ended up winning anyway. See? <laughs> One of my favorite clips. Hold on. Goes the entire, the <laughs> Where did he go? Where did he, I've never seen this one. He just walks off the map. Pretty much the entire, almost the entire length. What? 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 Did he die through the he tree? He just fell through yeah, the stage. That happens. Uh, this is stupid. What is that? <laughs> Get, getting some uh, some early dev testing from an eight year old. I can't believe it actually happened. Bro's I better. missed that. That kid's based. Oh no. Was Zane still got him in a combo? That was uh, a. <laughs> that, that was jank. I, that, that was, was janky. That was. Oh. That was... What's crazy? This is still Xanadu 162. When was this? This was only six years ago. Oh my god. Okay. I thought that was way longer. 
Oh my god. How old was Zane? Probably six years. I'm, I'm going to guess he was 24 now. Probably 18. He looks younger than that. Not subbed to VG. I think I accidentally unsubbed <laughs> just now. Whoops. My bad. Oh, little Zane. That's cute. Oh! 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 And the Melee community you think put Zane up is 24? Is he not? 22? How old is Zane? He's 26 or 27. I don't fucking know. I'm not parasocial for Melee players. I don't know all their ages offhand off the top of my head. I just know the gods are too old to be doing this shit anymore. <laughs> but it makes two of them a lot of money, so we keep it up. With it for years, all the way up until the pandemic hit, and we all got used to playing on Slippy. Now, most- oh, long. Also, because they keep winning. I should have uh, led with that. They're they're not, like, bad. <laughs> Tournaments use a modded version called Frozen Pokemon Stadium. And for the most part, everyone is really, really happy. So there you have it. For real this time. After 20 years of debate, the Melee community has settled on these six stages. I don't see Va uh, FOD very much. Is there a reason you don't see Fountain of Dreams very much? Is it just, like, volatile or... Coney, why don't you play Melee? You're like 200 years older than HBox. One, no. Two, I, 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 I have that story. I've told that story a lot. Where I, I, Brawl was coming out, and I figured that all the competitive players would be older than me in Melee. So I said, I'm not going to play Melee. I'm going to play Brawl. And then I showed up to my first Brawl tournament, and I was older than most of the good players. <laughs> There is a world where Coney gets into melee, and I'm a different person entirely. Seriously. But my first tournament was a brawl tournament, and I liked it. It'd be a different world, yeah. A worse person. I don't want to say that. Who knows what kind of person? Cringe Coney. <laughs> we really just hate melee players? Just unabashedly right here, huh? I could be one of the gods. Yeah, that's true. I could be the sixth, seventh god. Six with you, Count Levin. Maybe I'd be really good. Do you think Pass Coney would choose Puff too? I think Pass Coney would have gotten... Well, I don't know. I was going to say, Pass Coney would have gotten fucked up on Jigglypuff and then gotten annoyed and stopped playing. But maybe there's a world where I kept playing Jigglypuff and I kept getting more and more annoyed and I got more defensive and then I started playing really passively and like a bitch. Because instead I did the opposite. Where I, now I play like a, like a raging bull. I'm just a fucking moron. I just charge at people and bang my head against them until they die. <laughs> Which means I'm very easy to bait and to do stupid shit because I want to do my thing. So maybe if I play Puff in melee I'd be a lot more patient. Pass Coney would be a Falcon? I don't think I would have pivoted to Falcon. All roads lead to DK. I want to, man. I really do. I don't want to get into it, though, with Street Fighter coming out. Because I know my ass is not going to have the patience for Street Fighter. So I want to enjoy those two weeks for as long as I can. Right? I, I probably, I feel like I would have stopped playing Jigglypuff because I would have gotten annoyed. Like, over time, that people... But then again, early Jigglypuff was mad aggressive. Like, early Jigglypuff, people didn't know to camp her out yet. Actually, Coney, Dr. Mario. Oh, true. I play... I uh, my In Melee, I played Jigglypuff, Dr. Mario, and Peach. But I played casually. Who are you going to play in Street Fighter VI? Uh, right now, the, the list is Marissa, Lily, Manon... DJ. Actually, Marissa, DJ, Lily Manon. But DJ is apparently, like, kind of chargy, which I don't like, but he looks so cool. I just fucking love DJ. Battlefield. Luke is so boring. I think he, he's a great design, but he's just not, like, as a character. He needs a little sauce. But I think he's made for mass appeal, and I appreciate that, but that's not for me. Yoshi's Story, Dreamland 64, Pokemon Stadium and Fountain DJ's of Dreams. DJ's charge, no kind of about it. No, I heard in in six, he's they made him like a hybrid kind of thing, 
Like he's not full charge, but as starters I don't know if that's true. and final destination as a counter pick. We hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane. And if you could bring one band stage back into competitive melee, let us know in the comments which one you'd choose. I mean, probably this one. I love Mute City. My name's Jonah. Thanks for watching. Not a pretty good movie. Pretty good. Not bad. I mean, it was comprehensive, right? <laughs> oh, pretty good. Pokey floats? I don't know. People would hate you for doing it. I kind of want, like, I don't know, a billionaire to come into the melee scene and say, okay, I will give the top 64 of this tournament minimum $50,000. Do it like a Fortnite tournament, right? Where, like, even 64th place makes, like, $25,000. But you have to play my rules, and they're just the most abhorrent shit you could imagine. <laughs> like, he just really loves Pokeballs. He's like, Pokeball on. Pokemon all on and high. Every Pokemon stage on. Has to be. That's just Nintendo. No, Nintendo does that for a controller and a backpack. Which, again... I think is kind of cool. I'm not, I'm not mad at Nintendo for hosting fun events. Just to be clear, I think that shit's tight. But uh, I, I do, I, I do wish that a rich benefactor would come in and just force us to play by their rules. <laughs> it's free to enter, so no money is whatever. Yeah, dude. I, I always like, I genuinely liked the Nintendo tournaments because, like, I don't know, it's, it's something different. Maybe not every tournament should be this hyper-competitive, super sweaty thing. Just have, like, a free-to-enter online thing for people that are casually playing, right? All right, I have no idea how this one's going to be. But, uh, my goat re-uploaded. Not re-uploaded, but my goat uploaded. You know who it is, right? <laughs> you guys know who uploaded, right? Is my fucking boy. It's theme park crazy, baby. Woo! Top 10 tallest drop towers on earth. Ah! Wait, hold on. <laughs> ah! What are the top 10 tallest drop towers on earth? Let's see. <laughs> I love Theme Park Crazy, dude. I love this guy. Link to the original in the description. Also, stay tuned to the end for a new comment shoutout section. Oh, wait. There... Oh, that's sad. That's my real goat, Stan Check. I shouldn't make a joke about that. Rest in peace, Stan Check. It's <laughs> a joke about that. He was 81, though. Good for him. That's a long time. For over 35 years... Rip Bernie Sanders. No! The Drop Tower has reigned supreme That's not one him. of the most terrifying flat rides out there. The concept is simple. Riders are sent to the top of a large steel tower before... This shit plumbing. dangerous. I will never ride one of these after that Orlando one. Back down to Earth. Bro, you guys see video of that Orlando one? Plicity. It has become a hugely popular attraction in the amusement industry. But just how tall have these towers gotten? Oh well, for those God. looking for the ultimate thrill ride, here's a list of the top 10 tallest drop tower experiences in the world. Oh and for the sake of God. ranking them by pure adrenaline, I'll be organizing the list by drop height. So the antenna, foundation, and other parts of the structure won't be counted. <laughs> oh to put it bluntly, God. we're here for how big these drops can be. I think, so, I think King's Dominion has one of the biggest. So Maybe like started. top five? Number 10, Huracan Condor at Port Aventura. This attraction first made Wait, its day 10. Are those hanging by, like, chains? Huracan that can't be real. Aventura. This attraction first made its debut in 2005. Built by Swiss manufacturer Intamin, this tower is able to seat four people at a time in each of its five ride cars. What makes this tower stand okay, out never is mind. the variety okay. of riding. I just saw, like, the wires, and I'm like, how are robbers. they being hung up there? Fact, never mind, we're there good. There are three different ways Rope? to ride this tower. <laughs> it's just a guy at the bottom pulling really hard. Passengers can ride in regular seats, tilting seats, or what looks like a stand-up position with no floor. Kill me. Dude. Oh. Ha... Ha <laughs> ha.
a ball buster. Yeah, this is just Mickey's Dick Crusher. You guys ever seen Mickey's Dick Crusher? <laughs> D D Dick Smasher, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, Mickey's Dick Smasher. It's a ride. Yeah, so two roller coasters. You, you lay down here, and then two roller coasters smash into it, and you get obliterated. Pretty short line at this ride. <laughs> it's not too long. <laughs> Apparently, there's some design documents that have leaked. There it is there. Um, they have a stand-up version. I didn't know that. So, there you go. Oh, my God, and look at this. <laughs> wow, an ultimate. That's great, yeah. Fantastic. It's real, yeah. Yeah, this is just that. No matter what. <laughs> Those Imagineers really are something. They're <laughs> just sitting back, like, throwing a ball against a wall thinking. What if there was a ride? <laughs> that would completely obliterate your genitalia. And it took two vehicles to do it. That could only put on one person at a time. You choose, though. You can expect... You can make it in Zelda, actually. Yeah, that's true. Make that shit in Tears of the Kingdom. 285-foot yeah. plunge downwards. Another cool thing about this ride that is high. the onboard photo feature. That large top piece isn't just for decoration. In fact, it houses a camera system for all five sides. The camera flashes just as the ride is sent down, allowing guests to get their photo Link's right Korok's after disembarking. Measure. It isn't often that you see drop towers with onboard photos available, but Huracan Condor is a truly unique specimen. Number 9. Atmosphere at Sweden's Lisebar. Located in Sweden's oh, second largest Lisebar. city, Göteborg, this massive attraction looks oh, I don't quite like different that. That's from too other many drop towers out there. I don't want to be That's on it with that many people. First built, I want this to be a personal to be a thrill experience. Because if I die, like, you know, I'm not part of a big group. I'm not like a statistic, right? I'm an individual. Advertising tower was burned down by a pyromaniac in 1938. Park oh. officials wanted to build a new tower in its honor. Eventually, officials decided on a massive 381-foot observation tower Jeez. by Austrian manufacturer Wagner Biro. This right Intimate sponsor when? Oh, baby. I've been working on it. In the Lisa I've been tower, in their DMs for years. Take guests to the top, One day, bro. Giving them a scenic view of the surrounding <laughs> area before bringing them back down. Do you prefer to keep your rem remains unmixed with other people's? Bro, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think my shit gets scattered into the wind off a mountain. All romantic-like, you know what I'm saying? It I'll would operate as way. an observation tower from 1989 all the way until 2010. That year, the attraction was closed, and Swiss manufacturer Intamin stepped Like the big Lebowski. Wait, really? ...in to give it a I don't complete remember that. makeover. Intamin would take this relaxing experience and transform it into a heart-pounding thrill ride named Atmosphere. While the structure itself is still over 300 feet, Put a lot of that is the massive antenna on Hooray! Top. Still, though, <laughs> it takes passengers to a max height of 295 feet in the air before the final plunge. On the way down, you'll hit a top speed of 68 miles per hour. And by the time you hit the bottom, oh, that would you may need back. a few moments yeah. to compose yourself. Dude, yeah, I don't... Something about... Th now you got me thinking about graves. Graves are so weird, right? I don't know. I could talk about it forever. I've, I've talked with other people around it. Graves are so, like, I guess it's comforting for people, right? Going there and visiting their loved ones. Th this could be its own thing. Why am I talking about this when I'm looking at tallest drop towers? Anyway, Coney, how much <laughs> money to ride that? What, this one? This is... Overall, this tower's unique appearance 500. and fascinating history make it just one of many sweet Maybe like 500 on that. Checking out. Number eight. Voltrum at Germany's Bayern I prefer Park. the tree option. Germany Wait, you could become a tree? How do you do that? That's way better. He is known for having some of Europe's greatest How do you become a tree? Parts. I didn't know. That is Epcot. What the fuck is this? What is Epcot doing in Europe? In this country, even ah! the parks have some <laughs> truly memorable attractions. One such small park is Bayern Park in the German state of... What the fuck am I looking at? 
This is like one of those images that says, name one thing. It's like the, the river rapids are mixed with this, and there's a big eagle. And Bavaria. <laughs> oh Starting God. off as a wildlife park and playground in 1985, this park has since grown its land <laughs> AI to a variety the of different park. attractions. Among its top thrill rides are its oh, launch good roller Lord. coaster, Freischutz, and just recently, a drop tower Don't spin Ultram, me, dude. Stop. I'm going to throw up. Fun time. Don't spin this me, bro. This ride model is known as a Skyfall. On the way up the tower, I seats fall. rotate around the structure. Ever since giving... that fucking donkey video, every time I think or hear of Skyfall, I think of the fuck. Skyfall! James Bond! <laughs> I watched that movie for real, and Mally was getting so mad at me. Because the whole time I was saying, it's so stupid. In a full view of the surrounding oh. area, perhaps the most terrifying thing about this tower is so that it doesn't dumb. stop when it reaches the top. This makes it hard to predict when exactly the drop will be. Oh, and so it just drops at the end. It okay. makes the descent yeah. even more gut-busting than usual. In total, you'll drop 305 feet, making this the tallest Oh, shit, I forgot. I got a bounty tonight. I think we're going to have a special announcement. <laughs> I think it's time to pop a very special announcement tonight. Yeah, we'll do it after this video. Our experience in all of South Wait till you see what it is. South Germany. When it comes to Bavarian oh, thrills, dude. this big ride news. is undoubtedly news, unbeatable. Yeah. Number seven, Falcon's Fury at Florida's Busch Gardens, Tampa. Stick around, Although it's, it's a not fun the one. tallest drop tower okay. on earth, many thrill seekers <laughs> consider the last it among bounty. The best. Oh, God, but don't fucking remind me. Planning for this attraction began in 2011, the same year that Cheetah Hunt opened to the public. That year, rumors started to grow of a 200-foot-tall drop. It's it's not an hour-long bounty. It's only eight minutes. Tower similar to Mock Tower at Sister Park Busch Gardens, Williamsburg. It's quick. However, as the details became more clear, the ride would exceed everyone's expectations. It's not men's wear. Located in the Pantopia section, this tower was built on the former site of the park's sandstorm ride. Instead Wee! of just 200 feet, the ride would end up being 335 feet tall. With a total drop height of 310 feet. At first, this <laughs> ride edit that. seems like just All right, another so this, drop tower, this is just but this particular ride model heights. has a little something extra to up its intensity. The ride model is known as a sky jump, and like Atmosphere, it was built by the fine folks at Intamin. After reaching the top, your seat will tilt backwards into a face-down position, literally forcing you to look down. That's, that's, that's sadistic. At this point, the restraint system is the only thing keeping you from a dip oh drop God, Don't do that! All of don't a sudden, he's gonna drop his phone. I don't like will take that you one back bit. down at 60 miles an hour. Just I don't like that. The bottom, the seats will swing I don't like anybody place. making this, this shit. certainly isn't your grandmother's <laughs> drop tower. Oh it's height, tilting seat. Imagine being the guy to test that. Your buddy makes it and says, hey, hop in. <laughs> and overall intensity make it a must yeah, get out of here. Seekers. If you get a chance. I've been on it. I had to take off my glasses. Well, to yeah. To visit this park, see if you can handle this massive masterpiece. Number six. My grandma went on that? Well, now I feel like a pussy. Donjon de l'Extreme at France's Nigloland. Among French amusement parks, Nigloland is among the most popular in the country. This park has something for everyone, with small family attractions and, of course, a solid selection of thrill rides. These attractions... Guys... Stop. <laughs> Stop. I'm sure it means something in France. This includes their new water coaster Krampus so Expedition, stupid. their airtime packed coaster Alpina Blitz, <laughs> and a fun time so drop tower stupid. named Donjon de l'Extreme, also known as Extreme Dungeon in English. This what did tower he say, Coney? I didn't hear. Oh, me neither. I missed decorative it. piece on top. It is currently the tallest drop tower in all of France, with a total drop height of 312 feet. At the time of its opening, it was also the tallest rotating drop tower in the world, <laughs> giving passengers a beautiful panoramic view of the French countries. Damn, France looks like that? Oh, mm. well, pretty By good. By all accounts, this tower was a huge success when it debuted in 2016, with Nigloland drawing 600,000... <laughs> who's in Paris? Stop. 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 The joke is right there. Stop. That I year. can't. And at a cost of over six stop. million stop. euros, it's safe to say it was well worth <laughs> the pl it. The, the, plate, the, the plate has the joke on it right there. I can't. The money. 
like what you I'm see gonna so leave far, it. I had to push the plate. I had to the push the plate across the table. I'm not doing it. If we can get to 400,000 the Rugrats were in Paris. The year, yes, they I'll were. I'll do a video they on were. the world's steepest roller coasters. Number five, La Venganza del Enigma at Spain's Parque Warner Madrid. Parque Warner? <laughs> El Green Lantern. Located in Spain's capital city. So Parque is this Warner like Madrid a... ...features a wide variety of attractions themed to various Warner Brothers brands. In a way, it's much like I was like going to say, Flags is this like a Six Flags? Yeah, 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 okay. Looney Tunes and DC Comics characters. There's even a Batman the Ride clone named Batman Arkham Asylum. In addition, another Batman-themed ride is a massive drop tower complex named La Venganza del Enigma. Cody, have you ever been to Six Flags? There is something so funny about how how blatant how fucking blatant that was. It was no kappa. There was no emote. There was no indication that you were trying to set me up on a stun lock. That was actually just so earnest. Well, Coney, have you? What was your experience like? <laughs> there was something about reading that message just completely without irony. That was very funny. Enigma. That was very This attraction funny. is based on the famous Riddler, who is known as the Enigma in Spain. Bro, get out of there. He's just standing there. So in other words, Bam the ride's name translates ass, to guy? Riddler's Revenge in English, sharing the same name as the Magic Mountain stand-up coaster. Built by American manufacturer SNS Sansei, this model, known as a combo tower, offers three different experiences to passengers. <laughs> First, this model, known as a combo. Something about this seems uncomfortable to me. I don't want to make eye contact with other people on the ride. Like I see other people riding the same ride I am, and I'm like, "We're both having fun." What if there's a kid over there that's just staring at me, like a teenager, like a, like a, like a. Like an 11 year old that's just. Is that guy okay? I'm scared. I gotta make sure that guy's okay. <laughs> okay. Bow Tower offers three different experiences to passengers. Have you First... suffered through Dutch Wonderland yet? No, actually, but I'm going this summer. That's not a joke. I, I liked it when I was young. And I'm gonna take her. I think we're gonna do that in Hershey Park at some point. Yeah. There's the space. It's funny mode. you mention it because we are gonna do that. Which launches you up the tower with the power of compressed air. What's then that? Dutch the Wonderland is like a, it is an extremely kid friendly park in Pennsylvania. I don't know. Yeah, it's Lancaster. I don't know much about. I don't. It's like all like fairy tales and uh, I don't know, like nursery rhymes and shit. Very baby rides, but which she's not into. She's more of a blippy and bluey girl. <laughs> She's more into Coco Melon than, you know, the Brothers Grimm, but maybe she'll like it. Turbo mode, which takes you to a max height of 328 feet before dropping you back to Earth. Finally, there's the combo mode, which lets you experience both space mode and turbo mode in one ride experience. I hate Hershey Park. I don't hate it. There's me being a uh, sensationalist again. Hershey is okay, but th the layout sucks. The um the 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 Hershey Park layout is just like a line. It's so long. The park is designed so badly. So you'll the right the place itself is cool. Back but down, be slowly lifted up the tower. That layout is dropped, terrible. All without having chocolate world ride. Hershey's chocolate. Hershey's chocolate. Hershey's. I'd never forget it. You remember the cows at the end? It's the milk chocolate. Mm, 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 mm. Hershey's milk chocolate. If you've never been there, you don't know. You don't know about the singing cows. To get they make the chocolate line. milk. You certainly can't go wrong with a three-for-one deal. And this yeah. ride has plenty of thrilling variety. Advertising moment, it worked. They gave me a little piece of candy when I left, too. To I'll it. never forget Quick it. Note, the number six spot was originally Blue Fall, I cried. Japan Sea Paradise. Sadly, though, I found out that it actually closed two years ago while doing the research for this video. Anyway, number four, Highlander at Germany's Hansa I never Park. heard of this any of these, bro. I thought one well of these would be, German like, from my neck of the woods. I'd be like, yeah! For the most Go part, team! Hansa USA, Park is known by right? Christian like, enthusiasts for having one of the world's losing, best one-two punches. 
with the Oath of Cairnon and Escape of Novgorod roller coasters. I but think while these I thought Virginia had a really high one. Claim, Kings Dominion, not but maybe not. Notable <laughs> thrill rides at this park. In Stop 2019, spinning, dude. the park debuted a new Scottish-themed area named Beautiful Britain. The this tallest two will be. Theming and scenery Wait for number based one. on the historic Eileen <laughs> Donan Castle. And in addition to its oh, pre-existing yeah. Nessie roller coaster, the centerpiece of this area is an enormous fun time drop tower named Highlander. With a drop height of 338 feet, this ride stands as the tallest drop tower in all of I'm Europe. I'm waiting for New Jersey. Like, and Re New Jersey representation any day now. Bro, you're on every single other video. This guy brings up King Dakar every fucking video. Can you let us have one? Like Extreme Relax. Dungeon, the seats rotate around the tower on the way up. And like Falcon's Fury, the ride also features tilting seats. Though they only tilt 30 Jersey degrees Jersey Devil down, the other day? That was Mothman. <laughs> that adds even I more did that by accident. Traction. I got them mixed up. Needless to say, this drop tower was an amazing addition for the park. Perhaps Funtime can build an exact clone of it somewhere and name it Highlander 2. King's Dominion is 305 height. Oh, that's so cringe. The Quickening. Number 3, the giant drop at Australia's Dream World. This ride has a fascinating history because it actually They don't go that much higher. We started at like 300 and now we're at 390. Like Intimate I thought we would be in like the 6 700 by now. This enormous steel structure was well, it's even taller than the last one. Two rides. Yeah, okay, kind of bored board of these, dude. Roller Wait. coaster on earth to hit 100 miles and launched guests up the side. Oh, I thought that was the thing. I thought it went down forward. I was like, "Oh, roller coaster on earth tower tower to the there's 300 Tony, do you know how tall 600 feet is? That's like two football fields, right? Because the yard is three feet, and 100 yards is a football field. So 600 is two football fields. 77 feet in the air. I haven't seen a football field in person in a long time, though, so I don't know how long that is. Air. Before, like the former, it top. Wait, two, USA. Lex Luth Wait, where's Magic Mountain? Oh, that's California. The oh. drop of doom at California. Damn, that's Six big, Magic though. Magic Mountain. This tower is extremely similar to the giant drop. Oh my Just god! Like the former, it too sits perpendicular to an Intamin launch shuttle coaster. That's too long of a drop. I would think something went wrong. During the same if I'm falling that this far, named Superman Escape from Krypton I think I'm dead. The public just weeks after Tower of Terror did in these DC villains are evil for real, for real. Why Lex doing that, bro? I didn't do anything to him. Do that to Superman. Why you gotta try to kill me? What's your fucking problem, dude? Lex, relax. <laughs> Stop, it's bro. Took the record as the tallest. Bro, the fucking... <laughs> this ride is at uh, Islands of Adventure, and you have to walk into it. Doctor Doom has this entire fucking structure designed to extract the fear out of you, so he can make fear juice, and you're like. All right, bro, let's go. And you have to go there. <laughs> Why would I do that? Why am I walking into Dr. Doom's uh, mechanical innovation to extract my fear juice? What did I do? Yeah. <laughs> What's your fucking problem? So stupid. Coaster on Earth at 400 feet. He doesn't even pay me. the first one ever to reach that height. However, while the giant drop premiered the year after Tower of Terror, Lex Something Luthor about comic book villains being in theme park rides is really funny to me. I think it's like most of them want to kill people, right? Most of them, like, there, there, there's this disconnect, right? Where most of them want to really want to harm people and cause chaos, but they create these attractions designed to thrill and delight you. And then it, it, it just, if somebody died on it, it'd be like, well, you know, D Victor Von Doom would do that. <laughs> and I, I'm surprised he only killed one in all those years. Thanks, Dr. Doom. My dad fun, actually. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like, <laughs> that ride's been in, in operation since 1999. If one guy dies on it now, Dr. Doom is going to consider that a failure. Has it killed one person in all that time? Damn. They're banking on something going wrong to lure in a superhero. They could definitely, like, it's been going on for so long, they got to try a little bit harder. There's another one, uh, <laughs> Another one. So, uh, Storm has a ride also at the same theme park. Can you guess what her ride is? It's teacups. <laughs> Storm uses all of her magical, mystical power to cause the, 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 the storm and the clouds and the wind, and she just makes your car go really fast in a circle. 
Pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks, Storm. Wow. It wasn't built until yeah. 15 years after <laughs> Superman's opening. On September 1st, 2011, six <laughs> That is unforgiven as fuck. Announced the Look at that. And ah! Released, calling it, quote, another one for the history books. Months of construction later, the ride would open to the public. This tower would take guests to a top height of 400 feet. That's kind of high. Steps of Superman is the first drop tower. To That's hit that one mark. in a third. What really makes field. this ride stand out is how tru truly surreal the view is. Six Flags Magic Mountain oh my is God. located in Valencia, California, and is surrounded by huge mountains. Bro, what the fuck is going on over there in California? That's just weird. Maybe it's because I'm from the East Coast, but y'all got too many biomes. Oh, it's because it's an entire coast. <laughs> I, it's weird to me. It's too big. Yeah. You gotta split that shit up. Because, like, California doesn't really have an identity. It, its identity is... It does have an identity, which is not favorable for most people. But it's because it's so big. Like, the East Coast, like, there's real uh, personality to every state. You know what I'm saying? NorCal and SoCal is all you really have over there. It's like being on another planet. Split Cali up, conservative right-wing Coney comes out. If I was conservative right-wing Coney, we would chop that shit off the country. Just a little bit below Oregon and a, and a little bit above Mexico. Just a little U.S. circumcision. No, that That's not right. <laughs> but but California uh, has paid me a lot of money to go over there and do some work. So it's all fine by me. Planet, which is fitting Thank you, for California. A roller coaster to Lex Luthor. After reaching the top height, you'll plunge downwards, eventually reaching a top speed. I wonder if someone who's 5'9 could live in a place so big. What did you even mean by that? Why did you... You can't just throw a size joke. What's that? A little guy in a big state. Is that what you're saying? People are laughing. Okay. You got what you wanted because I mentioned it. Now people act like it's great. Okay. Speed fun. of 85 yeah. miles per hour. And just when it seems Coney like for real want to keep San Diego. Hell surface, yeah, I hear that zoo is crazy. Again, and you'll be That's Ray Mysterio's birth town, Booyaka. Absolutely you know what stunned I'm at what the you just experienced. An absolute must do for sure. Number one, Zoom and Jaro drop of doom. And oh, what the fuck? That New Jersey guy was right. I didn't know there was a ride inside King Ka. When did they add that? New Jersey. What the fuck? When did they add that? After the success of Lex Luthor drop of doom. Jesus Bears, Christ! Six Flags decided oh to give yet God. another USA won. We all won. We all won. Time, hey, we won. The team Utica, won. The, the team did it. All of us. Roller coaster. First opening in 2005, this Good coaster job, stands at 456 <laughs> feet tall, taking guests up an enormous top hat. And in 2014, Six Flags affixed not another one, East Coast not two, W. That's what I'm three saying. Drop towers to the we can't element. stop winning. Interestingly enough, oh, but in we have in and out. Oh, yeah. Ride, okay. The park had to tear down their old Rolling Thunder roller coaster, with the exception of a small segment. As for the ride itself, did Otor El Toro kill a guy? I heard they shut that shit down. I think somebody got injured. That was like my favorite roller coaster. Elf, zoom El Toro is so good. Mess around. After boarding, passengers are lifted to a top height of 415 feet. It hurts? Dude, it got so much worse. El Toro was so good like eight years ago or like a while ago. And I, I wrote it like four years ago maybe. And it was bad. Bad, 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 bad. When it was smooth, it was fantastic. Just when you think you're at the it top. It sent someone to the hospital, but they lived. Higher. Okay. Eventually, you finally reach the top and are met with a vast sweeping view. That guy is having... A great time. Oh, ads right now. <laughs> prime, 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 prime. Twitch Prime, Twitch Prime, Twitch Prime. It's free, it's free, it's free. Subscribe, tier one, tier one, tier one. Ads right now. Go. As you drop down, Whoops. you'll gain more and more speed. You, who said that guy next... wasn't having fun? Being you said cute. the guy next to him wasn't having fun. Oh, yeah? Who has more fun when they start dropping? As you drop down, you'll gain... Him. <laughs> he literally bogged more and more speed eventually hitting he pogged so hard per hour and when the brakes kick in you'll be absolutely stunned at what you just experienced uh, wait he got to ride twice is that the same guy what the fuck oh they move seats this lady is now over here <laughs> okay that's the same lady i think yeah okay <laughs> all right
the yellow girl got to stay there too. <laughs> he got ejected. Yeah, this guy just got launched. That's what it Drop was. Down. Okay. You'll gain more and more speed, eventually hitting 90 miles per hour. Is a pog a natural reaction? Do you guys know about that psychology study where it says, uh, I forget what it was. I mitered in psych, so I didn't actually learn anything. But in psych, there was a study about, like, do you smile because you're happy or are you happy because you smile? Which comes first, the action or the feeling, right? And I wonder if pog is, like, the idea is I see something or feel something surprising, right? Especially now in a in a post Pog era where everybody knows about Pog Champ, at least in the internet. Like even if you don't know Pog Champ, you know the YouTuber Soyface, right? So like, yeah. Do you Pog because you're hyped or are you hyped because you Pog? Yeah, I don't know if I ever went before the internet, but now my brain is poisoned. So now when something happens, I go. I don't remember what life was like pre-Pog. And when the brakes kick in, you'll be absolutely stunned. People at made what? surprised faces like this before. Yeah, but it's mutated. Surprised face is just like, like mouth open, but it's not head down. Like, like you see my spine, like this. You a fucking caveman. You just experienced. That's different. Six Flags Great Gamer Adventure neck. is well yeah. known for its <laughs> awesome coaster collection. And Zoom and Jaro serves as yet another great A thrill ride in its lineup. Now it's time for the. Okay, that video was not his best. Damn, that every single one was taller than the one before. Wow, that was uh, that was pretty. That was he was right. Those are the top ten tallest drop towers. But you know, I love theme park crazy. I love my goat. I gotta give him the ups whether the video is a banger or not. All right, it's time for a very big announcement. <laughs> I forgot that I have this bounty, and Friday is Street Fighter VI, and uh, I don't think I'm going to have good viewership for that because it's Street Fighter. So we're going to do this. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if I can cancel it because I think I might be streaming. Can I cancel it? Because I think I might be streaming uh, Battle of BC. Let me look. Let me see. <gasps> it came back up. I can refresh. Yes, I have it until 616. Never mind. <laughs> Bounty averted. Unless I lose my board. <laughs> what is this? I think this emo could be useful in these kinds of situations. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? Why are you going to punch? Who is he going to punch? Why would he do that? Why would he do that? <laughs> His monitor? I don't know the context of this. What's his problem? He's a dangerous man. That's fun. Someone stole this blue buff. <laughs> that happens all the time. I don't know if that's that big a deal, man. Okay. <laughs> he is tilted because of League of Legends. Yeah, I'm sure. Whatever, man. I'm going to bed. Thank you guys for watching. Fun stream. No stream tomorrow. Stream on Friday. We're doing Street Fighter. I'm going to be playing a lot of the day, I think, although I don't know how much of it is going to be on stream. No bounty? No, we're going to do it on Sunday, I think, for Battle BC. I might not do Battle BC. I might not stream Sunday. So, basically, it is Mal and I's anniversary. Woohoo. Seventh anniversary. But we're celebrating it the day before. We're doing it on Saturday. So, I might take Sunday off. I might not. Depends on how I feel in the moment. If I feel like watching Battle BC, they'll do that. I don't know. We'll see. Take Sunday off? Yeah, but I don't know. We'll see how things go. Maybe you'll see me on Sunday. Maybe you won't. I don't know. Don't wait up. Bye. <laughs>